What's going on guys? Zuko back with another last epoch video. Hope you're all doing very well. I just wanted to talk to you guys about making some alt characters in the game and how to like make the game much easier on yourself if you're going to create multiple characters in a season of last epoch. This is something that I love to do in action RPG games. I love to make multiple different characters to try out different masteries, to try out different builds. Um, I already literally have a Beastmaster right now, but I'm going to do some Shaman builds for you guys. So I want to make sure I get this rolling and start doing some cool Tornado and Earthquake and Avalanche stuff. Can't do that, of course, on my Beastmaster because you cannot change your mastery. So if you're like me and you enjoy making multiple characters in an action RPG season, then this is going to be a video to help you get started. So I'm, I've am i literally started on the old road, and you go through the burning forest, and I'm at the first town. Now, right now, the servers are in, like, Armageddon mode again. I don't know if you guys have seen the Discord, but I literally can't leave this town right now. So I thought, hey, I'll just make a video for you guys because I can't really do, can't really go anywhere. So I'm just going to do this right now. When you first get to this town on an alternate character, there's some really important things that you should do. Number one... On your journey here, you should pick up a bunch of items off the ground, okay? Things like boots and gloves and a chess piece and maybe a staff. And I'm going to show you why right now. First of all, you have all your crafting materials from what your other character, your main character, has already picked up, right? It's a shared stash. It's a shared crafting material. So you can immediately start crafting on items. This is the first item that I picked up was a hatchet. I actually found a staff on the ground. I put this staff in here and I just started crafting on it right away. Added melee cold, melee fire damage. Watch my damage. 31 damage on Gathering Storm goes up to 112. Just because of crafting in the early game on your alt character. Just boom. I have this chest piece. It only gives me 20 armor. I picked up this off the ground. It's I can just I added a two minute in vitality. We're gonna keep adding it. Oh no, I can't add any more. It'll tell you if you can't add any more. Let me just move my window to here. Maybe that's gonna be easier. This is gonna tell you whether you can craft on it or not, whether you're a high enough level. So just add a bunch of stats to it. Whatever. Just add uh, some health. Boom, there we go. Oh, can't to level 10. That's fine. This is still better. Five attunement, two vitality. Boom, I got myself some more damage, okay? Damage for my wolf, damage for my totems. Now, uh, same with boots. This is the biggest one. If you're, I started it with these boots here. 5% movement speed, zero forging potential. I found these boots on the ground, and I crafted movement speed on them. This is one of the biggest things that you should do in the early game on any character, but especially on your alt, craft movement speed on boots. Nothing is worse than going through the campaign slowly on an alt character. So I put some strength on it as well, because that's gonna scale my damage. Now I'm a little bit quicker, let's go. We're gonna keep doing that. This is a fundamental rule to last epoch, especially for alt characters, always be crafting, ABC, right? Always be crafting. I put some strength and attunement on this helmet. I put some uh, strength on these gloves. I put some attunement and strength on this ring. This belt has nothing on it right now and zero fortune potential. But the second step that you can do is check your stash. Besides just crafting on your gear, you should be checking your stash. And you're going to find a bunch of items in here that are going to be low level and accessible to you. Things like storm hide paws. Let me move my camera back over again. We're going to keep doing this. We're going to figure out how to do this in last epoch. This gives me plus one to swipe, which I don't use, but it gives me 34% lightning damage, 34% cold damage, health, cold resistance, attributes. It's very, very good. It's going to improve my damage once again. Boom, there's an upgrade. My belt is useless right now. I could get a potion belt. That's going to actually help me a lot with leveling. 97% increased chance to find potions. You get haste for three seconds when you use a potion. That is a really, really big deal because it means that you can go fast, right? I hit my potion and I move really quickly, right? All about speed. The early game alt characters is all about speed. So that's another belt that you could grab. I had another belt here. This is an experimental belt that I could use. Um, volatile zombies on potion use. I mean, some of this stuff is useless, but it's just free stats, right? So you might as well grab it. Then, of course, there's weapons. I've already made a weapon, but there might be specific weapons that you have found, unique weapons that give you incredible bonuses. Maybe you're running an Acolyte and you have some skeletons. You could have this weapon here, uh, minion spells and bow attacks deal basically double damage, more than double damage, increase attack speed, all that kind of stuff. So you want to accelerate the early game by crafting on your gear, especially flat damage is really good in the early game. 
flat cold, flat fizz, flat lightning, flat fire, flat poison, whatever it is. Put flat damage on your weapons and then craft on everything else and craft your stats. Stats are really good. You can see if you hold alt on your abilities, look at the bottom of my gathering storm node here. I can't move my mouse over to it, but you can see it there. Scaling, strength scaling, attunement scaling, 40% more damage with strength, 11 spell damage with attunement. So look at your abilities, look at what they scale with and add those stats to your gear in the early game so that you can get a huge boost of damage. Definitely add movement speed to your boots and then check your stats to see what else you have. I have a couple of other items that I got because one of my buddies was power leveling me in Monoliths. I'm going to do another video, I think, on power leveling because we're not entirely sure how it's functioning right now. Power leveling did not seem to go as quickly as I thought it was going to go. Um, so that's another video for another day. But these are my, these are just my advice to you guys is that if you're starting a new character like this, make sure that you're crafting. Make sure you check your stash. And then the last thing you can do is, I didn't know this, but when I got into this town, both of the factions are here, the trade factions. And that's because I've already unlocked them on my main character. Make sure, I would say, arguably, that you join the um, Circle of Fortune because you're going to get some insane buffs. I get all of my rank rewards that I have already earned on my main character, I get them for free on my alt character. So drop chance, uh, runes of ascendance, idols, yada, yada, yada. Some of these things don't matter as much because I'm not getting exalted items and I'm not getting monolith stuff, but the early stuff is very, very good. There might actually be a world where joining the market is the better way to go on an alt character because if you have a whole bunch of gold on your account, you can join the market and then you can just go buy items. So... Maybe there's an early game legendary that you don't have, like the skeleton one I was talking about. You could just go buy that on the market and just get it for free. So there's actually probably a, a world where you might want to join the market while you're leveling and just go buy a bunch of items that you need. And they're not going to be inc incredible items like you like like big time uniques. They're just going to be like maybe rares or maybe I'm not even sure if you can buy uniques right away. I thought they removed that. Um, I think they removed that you could buy uniques right away. But either way. It might be worth it to just buy items on the market with the gold that you've accumulated on your main character. Those are my tips and tricks for you guys in terms of gearing on an alt character. Make sure you utilize the crafting materials that you have already picked up on your character. Just start crafting on all your gear. Check your stash to see what other upgrades you might have that are like low-level powerful items. The very last thing I will mention is that you, there's Weaver's Will items. If you don't know what Weaver's Will items are, they are these legendary type items right here. Let me. I think I have another one. Let me just type in Weaver's. I thought I saw one. There's one there. So here it is right here. This is what they're going to look like. A Weaver's Will item will have this symbol here that says Weaver's Will and it'll have a number, right? So... Nine Weaver's Will is on this item. These are very, very good boots. I can't put I can't put them on till level 16, but that's pretty that's close. Like I'm actually getting close to that. So that's very in early in the game. This is gonna give you movement speed, it's gonna give you extra movement speed and a bunch of haste. Again, haste is a huge stat for leveling because you can go very fast. But what this does, Weaver's Will items will level up with you when you equip them. Whenever you're gaining experience, they gain experience as well, and they will accumulate new affixes as you level them up. For example, these gloves. These are Weaver's Will gloves that are all done with the Weaver's Will. It's used up all the Weaver's Will that was on it, and it gave me plus one attunement, crit avoidance, and cold res. It's random, the stats that you're going to get, but sometimes you can get some really powerful um, affixes on the piece of gear while you're leveling and it just gives you an additional bonus to look forward to also again these levels are very the, the items are very low level so level 15 is very low level 16 is very low the base stats on these things are generally speaking very very strong especially boots like advent of the erased where you get haste um and less damage taken over time this is a massive pair of boots that you're going to want to find again maybe go to the market and buy one of these if it's on there. I don't know. I don't know how the market works, but that's something you could think to do. This is the last piece I would say is try to grab all of your Weaver's Will items out of your stashes and um, and use them. Make sure you use them. Here's another. I could use these boots as well. Yeah, that's my advice to you guys. If you're if you want to make a ton of alt characters, definitely get them. There's a huge Weaver's Will item right there. Get them in here. 
Start crafting right away to make your items completely busted because you have the crafting materials to do it. Grab some Weaver's Will items. Grab some unique items out of your chest. Join up with the faction that you think is going to help you best get through the game. And you will start zooming through the levels very, very, very quickly. It's a huge advantage to have all this gear and to really know kind of what you're doing, especially on the crafting side. Make sure you're always doing that, okay? That's my advice for you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. If you have any suggestions for me on uh, builds that you might want to see or classes that you might want to see me play, please let me know in the comments down below. I am planning right now on doing a couple of shaman builds, which kind of fall in line with, of course, my World of Warcraft stuff where I, I play a lot of shaman. I'm definitely going to be doing an avalanche build, some earthquake builds. I'm going to be doing a lot of builds that probably aren't going to be featured in like the top meta because that's just not something that I enjoy doing. I like playing my own style of build. So if that's something that's interesting to you, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. Jump in the Discord. Let me know what you want to see. I would love to hear from you guys down there. Thank you so much again for watching. Love you all. I will see you in the next one.